The 91st annual Tucson Rodeo has officially begun. Thousands of fans came out to the rodeo grounds for opening day. Nine of your size, Jennifer Dela Cruz is live there where opening day is just now wrapping up. Jennifer. Well, all of the events for the day are officially over. Rodeo officials tell me they had about 5,200 people come out here today. Pretty good numbers for opening day. There are still some people cleaning up and putting all the livestock back in their pens. They've had a pretty long day and they have a long week ahead of them. We spent most of the day today talking to some fans about their favorite parts of La Fiesta de los Vaqueros. The 91st annual Tucson Rodeo bringing back fans who come out every year. Because they always put on a good show. Every, no matter what sport it is, and they, they always do a really good show. Locals and out-of-town guests putting on their cowboy hats and boots to see everything this year has to offer. From bareback riding and steer wrestling to barrel racing and bull riding, opening day kept fans entertained all day long. I think it gives Tucson um, this rich history and it gives something to be known for. And it's just a good sport and it's outside, it's a nice day. And I think it's good for everyone to come out here and see something new. While some guests were rodeo veterans, others were first timers. We caught up with some exchange students from Europe who were in for a big surprise. It's really exciting because we always see like in the movies the Wild West and stuff and it's so cool to actually experience it. For the first time this year, the Tucson Rodeo flag team is set to open each day with a special salute to our armed forces. And even with so many different events, there's always one that keeps fans on their feet. Barrel racing and our bull riding. Bull riding is pretty impressive. The bull riding. I love it. I just love how intense it is and those animals are so powerful and the riders have so much spirit. Well, if you didn't get a chance to make it out here today, the rodeo will be back up and running tomorrow. Gates are set to open at 11 a.m. We're live from the rodeo grounds. Jennifer Dela Cruz, KGA 9 on your side. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Always.